ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. of the Oriental Republic of Uruguay and the United States of America.
Mr. President, this concludes the honor. countries fought not only to be rid of domination, but also for freedom. Our histories run parallel. Both of the stories of people struggling, the people of Uruguay are reaffirming their faith in democracy. And all those who love liberty applaud this giant step forward. President Sanguinetti, we appreciate that your official delegation includes representatives from the judicial and legislative and a healthy respect for the opinions of others are hallmarks of a truly free society. And that is what you and the current leaders of Uruguay are building. In recent years, we have witnessed transition to democracy. We should not be satisfied until all Americans, and that means every living soul from the North Slope of Alaska to the tip of the Arab del Fuego, live in freedom as is their birthright. In this hemisphere, while we celebrate the progress that has been made, no one should overlook the decisive battle in the cause of human freedom now taking place in Central America, or instead, be engulfed in tyranny and conflict. We who enjoy the fruits of liberty understand that just and lasting peace is built on freedom. Our search for freedom, we must continue to press for a negotiated solution. In this work, we must uphold our democratic values and insist that they be the basis for any agreement that drew our forefathers and mothers from the old world. Uruguay, like the United States, is a nation of immigrants. They came to realization as well appreciated here. You have set out to attack not just the symptoms, but the underlying causes of your country's economic problems. By protecting Uruguay's good name and credit worthiness, by avoiding simplistic solutions and quick fixes, and by strengthening your private sector, you are building the confidence at home people on April 7th. You said, the state sets the direction, but it does not move the boat. The boat is moved by the private sector. Well, this appreciation of the essential role of profit motor, first real economic growth in four years, and there's every reason to be honest. Let me just add that as Uruguay's largest trading partner, nothing makes us happy but to see your country prosper. The issues that are of importance to both of our countries. These are exciting times, and we're proud to have you here with us and thrilled that Uruguay is again in the family of free peoples. President Sanguinetti, welcome. Nos ha mostrado fieles a esos mismos principios. Por eso estuvimos en la misma actitud en las dos grandes guerras mundiales de este siglo, hitos definidores ideológicamente de la filosofía del pueblo. Como presidente de la República, representando a un pueblo que me ha impuesto con su voto la difícil tarea de conducir que en estos 15 meses el Uruguay todo ha hecho un gran esfuerzo y ha realizado una hermosa experiencia de cambio en paz con el pleno de aquella vieja historia y que lo ha hecho de un modo ejemplar que enriquece aquella tradición. Por esta razón, señor presidente, usted lo ha señalado, 
presidente de la Suprema Corte de Justicia, el presidente de la Cámara de Diputados, que representa al principal partido de la oposición y el primer senador de mi partido, hijo además del último presidente uruguayo que estuvo aquí en esta casa hace 30 años. Vive a un serio problema y que ellos derivan tanto de asuntos propios como internacionales. No es fácil, señor presidente, luchar por consolidar la democracia penosamente alcanzada y ordenar la economía doméstica. Proteccionista y cerrado. Tendencias que su gobierno, señor presidente, se ha comprometido a enfrentar y a cuyos propósitos nos sumamos para preservar así las ventajas de un comercio mundial abierto y justo que a todos nos habrá sin duda a cambiar opiniones con usted y su gobierno. Hablando con la sinceridad con que hablamos siempre, especialmente a un país al que consideramos desde siempre amigo, con el que podemos discrepar a veces, y por lo mismo tenemos el deber de lealtad. La opinión pública es muy importante y entenderá nuestras razones. Así como tenemos la convicción de que vuestro gobierno sabrá considerarlas para estudiar en conjunto los medios de mejorar nuestras relaciones y superar las consecuencias de estos males que enfrentamos. Los más pequeños, como nosotros, condenados a una vida mediocre, pero todos en definitiva apuntando hacia la pobreza o la falta de libertad. George Washington vislumbró la importancia de este aspecto hace el sur y dijo la buena política, el humanitarismo y el propio interés recomiendan un intercambio, amamos filantropías ni ampararnos en tutorías de ningún tipo. Solo precisamos socios cooperadores, fuertes en capital y tecnología, con los que podamos trabajar en conjunto para forjar un mundo mejor, guiados por los mismos ideales de libertad que inspiraron a los mayores. Esa paz y esa democracia que hoy quisiéramos ver imperar en toda nuestra América, lograda por nosotros los latinoamericanos como fruto de nuestros compromisos históricos y nuestras responsabilidades frente a la Se seguirá sumando a todos los esfuerzos políticos en favor de la paz en el mundo y especialmente dentro de nuestra América. Paz y democracia son términos indisolubles. No tendremos la una sin la otra. El Uruguay una vez más reafirma aquí su convicción en ambos objetivos que son hoy la columna vertebral de su... Mr. President, it is a great honor for any Uruguayan citizen to come to this house. There are strong reasons for this. Our philosophies of the peoples of the world ever since. If this is true for any Uruguayan citizen, how much more so is it true for someone like me, arriving here as the President of the Republic and re representing a people that has, by its vote, entrusted me with the difficult task of peacefully guiding our Republic back to the interplay of its institutions and rights with violence toward none. Uruguay is heir to the long democratic tradition and therefore suffered all the more from the collapse of its institutions. Today, it feels subsist that in some cases hamper and in other cases actually cancel out the fruits of our own internal efforts. We must respond to the legitimate and urgent call of our people to recover their past standard of living and constructively. We know that public opinion is very important in this democratic nation and will therefore understand our positions. We are also confident that your government will take them into consideration when we look together at ways of improving our relationship and overcoming the consequences of these problems. Either international trade is freed or we must all resign ourselves to being locked into a new feudalism. The more powerful may survive longer, although condemned to live in an aggressive, unstable, and violent world. The weaker, like us, will be sentenced to a life of mediocrity.
but all of us sooner or later will be staring poverty in the face. George Washington foresaw the importance of this over 200 years ago when he said, it is in this spirit that we greet you, your government, and our friends, your people. Thank you. President, this concludes the ceremony.